Imagine a world where every need is met. No hunger, no struggle, no scarcity. Sounds perfect, right? But what if I told you this paradise led to chaos and collapse? Welcome to the curious case of the Utopia Mouse Experiment and its eerie parallels with our society today. The 1950s were a time of unprecedented growth and optimism. The world was rebounding from the devastation of World War II. With economic prosperity, the rise of suburbia and technological advancements, the American dream seemed within everyone's reach. But beneath this veneer of perfection, researchers began to ponder a critical question. What happens when all our needs are met without effort? Enter John B. Calhoun, an ethologist who sought to explore this question through a series of groundbreaking experiments. His most famous, the Universe 25, was a meticulously designed mouse utopia where food, water, and nesting material were plentiful and predators were non-existent. At first, the mice thrived, the population boomed, but soon, strange behaviors emerged, social withdrawal, aggression, and disrupted reproductive patterns. As the population reached its peak, chaos ensued. Social structures broke down and the once thriving community collapsed. Calhoun termed this the behavioral sink. Females stopped having babies and in some cases, even ate their young. Fast forward to today. Our world has transformed in ways Calhoun couldn't have imagined. But are we seeing the same patterns? Let's explore. Modern society has witnessed rapid urbanization, digital connectivity, and unprecedented technological advancements. Yet we face new challenges, social isolation, mental health crises, and societal fragmentation. Much like the mice, we see a breakdown in social structures. The rise of virtual interactions over face-to-face -face connections has led to a paradox. We're more connected than ever, yet many feel profoundly alone. In the 1950s, despite material abundance, birth rates declined. Today, we see a similar trend. Many women are choosing not to have children, and societal acceptance of abortion is at an all-time high. Could this be our version of the mice's infanticide? Society's attitude towards children has shifted dramatically. The rising choice for childlessness and the normalization of abortions reflect a deeper change in our values and priorities. In Calhoun's experiment, some female mice even began to eat their young. While we don't see this literally, our societal trends toward not having children at all echo this disturbing behavior. Calhoun observed the emergence of beautiful ones, or pretty rats, mice that groomed excessively and disengaged from social and reproductive activities. This phenomenon has a parallel in today's growing rates of self-focused behaviors and alternative lifestyles. Today, we see a rise in lifestyles where individuals choose to remain single or childless. The increase in homosexuality and the emergence of incels, men who identify as involuntarily celibate, reflect similar social withdrawal and self-focus seen in Calhoun's mice. As our society becomes more complex, these trends suggest a retreat from traditional social structures, much like the pretty rats of Universe 25. So what can we learn from Calhoun's mice? The Utopia Mouse experiment serves as a stark reminder that a perfect environment isn't just about material abundance. We need purpose, social bonds, and community. Building a resilient society means fostering real connections, addressing economic disparities, and ensuring that technological advancements enhance rather than hinder our well-being. While the Utopia Mouse experiment offers a cautionary tale, it also provides a pathway to reflection and improvement. By understanding the parallels, we can strive to build a future that not only meets our needs but nurtures our humanity.